I have been working with the medicinal plants through the sponsorship of uh, Arise uh, in my PhD work and I have done a lot of studies about the compounds from plants and Tanzania is rich in medicinal plants which are very endemic and they are very active. So during my PhD I approved, I validated their potential on killing bacteria associated with many diseases including skin diseases and other diseases, fungal infections and all that. This research is important because it is giving solutions to life in different ways. As I have said that I'm funded by ISRIs to virulize these medicinal plants. Virulization includes adding value by formulation, but also includes using it in different ways for sustainability. One is that I have formulated products which works and they are in the market. And I have seen that uh, process as very important because most of the herbal products in Tanzania have very big limitations to go into the market. So if you go to the Tanzanian market, herbal products are from China, India and other countries. So I was striving to see products that are formulated in Tanzania goes to the market. And that is one of the big impact that I see because I have been able to take the products to the market while training both postdocs and also the community. As I have said, I have formulated products. I have formulated more than 12 formulations. I have more than seven soap formulations, herbal soap formulations, which are made from a, a medicinal plant. By the way, I'm using one medicinal plant as a model plant. So I use it to formulate and then when I train, we use other plants as well, which have been validated for activity. For example, as you are seeing this soap, it's now in the market. Its quality now sells high. Uh, someone can make it, it goes into the supermarkets, it goes into streets, exhibitions and conferences, and people earn money. So uh, with these soaps, for example, people are very much interested. As I'm talking to you, this soap is supported by Sokoeno University of Agriculture as one of the product. And by the way, they have created a financial code for its sales. So that is a very big source of income for the university. But not only that, it has made me uh, a different person. I have changed. This soap, as you are seeing it, is not only medicinal plants. There is a lot of things in it, including regulation, including uh, policies, including environmental sustainability. So in order to go to the market for this soap, I have contacted a lot of stakeholders. And so it is in the market and it works. Training postgraduate scientists in Africa is very important. It's very important because you are, it, is, it is creating a mass of scientists who are one young. Young and therefore they ensure sustainability. My way forward is to make sure that I change the community. Through these products, I have changed a very special group of people called the traditional healers in Tanzania. They are now formulating. They are now following up the regulation before they go to market. They can now virulize, they can make cream. They are making products even more than what we have made at Soko in University of Agriculture. So I'm really focused on using my science to, ch to change people's life and change people's behavior towards quality. This research has impacted uh, the science itself. Apart from me, the students and also technical staffs and other, other lecturers there. But on the community, it's just, it has enabled me to go to the community. One, when, when I was starting this funding, I called like 83 traditional healers and they came and I took them through three aspects. One, I told them, you are working with chemicals. For them, when we were interrogating them, they said medicinal plants are not chemicals. 
So I sat down with them, people who have not gone to school, and I told them that this is chemicals, and therefore you need to have doses, you need to work with the scientists, and that's me. So work with me. Okay, they understood that. But also I told them, when you are using these plants, you uproot them. Your products, if at all it goes to the market, you need a lot of it. So you have to learn how to be sustainable in utilizing the plant. They understood and now they are propagating because one of my master's students is doing some propagation studies. Okay? But also, third, I told them about quality. That your products does not go to the market, internal and outside, because they are not of quality. When they came, some of them came with the medicines, just rolled in a cloth, just rolled in just a paper. It doesn't have labels. Now, if you call them for exhibition, like one month, like two weeks ago, we had exhibition. Their products like, are like this, packed, labels, ingredients listed. How do you use it? That's a big change, and the impact to the nation. These guys now are considered as small scale industries because we have connected them to the small scale industry uh, development institute, uh, government institution. So these guys now are taken as small scale industrial, industrial guys. They are trained, they are taken, their products are now in the procedures of approvement and things of that sort. So I see a big impact to the country because these guys now are improving their livelihood.